excuse me a minute guys i'm doing my otter uh o t t e r dot a i gotta add my title here b y b hashtag burn your boats i'm going to talk about uh, a little quick story and then a bunch of three word phrases all right here we go is this recording I have no idea. Let me hit pause and go back. All right. Otter should be transcribing this, but it doesn't look like it is. I'm kind of confused. Ah, there we go. All right. My name is Grandmaster Griffin of Griffin Martial Arts. I was looking at what makes people successful. If you give them too many choices, too much time, too much leeway, a lot of times it won't be successful. People call me about wanting to do private training or black belt training. But if they're not committed to work at home, to work out on their own, in addition to the group classes and or private classes, they probably will not be that successful. Quick story, a leadership lesson from Herman Cortez. In 1519, Captain Hernan, actually it's Hernan, Cortez landed in Veracruz to begin a great conquest. Upon arriving, he gave the order to the men, burn the boat. They said, what? What do you mean burn the boat? We just got here. As I imagine it, someone then laughed and Cortez promptly thrust his sword into the man's chest. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. After which, the rest proceeded to get hammered on rum by the glow of the blaze, almost like a bloodier version of the Pirates of the Caribbean with Cortez played by Johnny Depp. The other component of this was, there was actually an earlier um, story about burning the ships, burning the boats, I want to say uh, near the Rock of Gibraltar in the year 711. The idea is um, when you're clinging on to something that you know, if it doesn't work out, we can just hop on the boats and and leave. Cortez's mindset was, um, we're going to burn our boats, and then if we are going to go back home, we're going to take their boats. He took away the options. And when you take away people's options, it makes it really simple. Um, so retreat is easy when you have an option. Uh, let that... Uh, process in your brain for a couple of moments. I had to, because like, wait, wait, you got nice boats, nice ships, uh, got all the stuff. No, unload the boats and then burn them because we're going to take over. Uh, we cling to something that acts as our escape hatch to um, us and our exit strategy in the negative. It's like, how do we get the heck up out of here? Uh, we're going to go straight ahead. Um, it's our safety net just in case. What we fail to do, honestly, is to complete that sentence. We lie to ourselves a lot of the times. If we're truly honest, we would say, this is my safety net just in case I get scared. Okay. We postpone actions until we no longer feel fear, false expectations appearing real. Um, either that or our actions are shallow or very surface and attempting never really to succeed. They're just kind of like, yeah, kind of play it safe. Um, in reality, we must learn to act decisively in spite of our fear. Burning things, that makes sense. Now, that doesn't make sense. We love that phrase. We love to hide behind it. We tell ourselves that certain things don't make sense. It would have made sense for Cortez to keep a boat or two, if not for his entire fleet, but Cortez was on a mission, and he knew that the only way to keep himself and his men from quitting the mission was to take the option off of the table. And so what Cortez did was force his men to either succeed or die. Retreat was not an option. I believe that truly to achieve the high levels of success in life that we all desire, there are times we need to burn the boats. The question we have to ask ourselves is, what are my boats? What am I afraid to let go of? I can't answer that question for you, 
but I can give you some areas to consider as you ponder the question. What boats do I need to burn in my life? Take a look at them and then feel free to add in your own comments and your own thoughts and your own worksheet, if you will. As you consider each one, um, if it jumps out at you, ask yourself, why? What is it that makes that hard to burn? Um, is it a false sense of obligation? Is it the fear of the unknown? Is it the fear of being perceived as a failure? What the heck is it? One, your current job. Two, bad business deal. Three, unrealistic dream. Number one, your current job. Are you afraid of trying something new? Are you comfortable? Are you convinced that this is as good as it gets? Um, a bad business deal. Why is it a bad deal? Why can't you let it go? Do you feel obligated to uh, still be in the relationship when it ain't working out? Number three, unrealistic dream. Sometimes this is the toughest one to spot. I enjoy watching TV shows like American Idol because you get the chance to see people who are willing to put it all on the line in front of uh, national judges, whether it's a local uh, show or England, Britain, across the world, doesn't really matter. But they're in front of their own national group and they're laying it out on the line to fulfill their dreams in front of people during the tryout round. And in the beginning, early rounds, you'll witness people who aren't really prepared. They're not ready to go next level. They have this idea, but they didn't put in the work. They get booted real quick. Uh, so when you listen to criticism, it's important to what is the boat that they're talking about and what is the boat that I got to burn. Okay. A lot of times mommies, parents love us unconditionally. They are sometimes the hardest ones to tell us the truth about our skill or lack thereof. So um, instead of having dreams and fantasies, um, it's important that we take ourselves to the next level. Um, what are the boats that often need to be burned? What, bur what boats have you burned? All right, here we go. They fought well. These are going to be hashtags. So I'll put this in the, the notes. Hashtag BYB, burn your boats. Hashtag they fought well. Hashtag take the treasure. Hashtag take or die. Hashtag be creative strategically hashtag be committed tactically hashtag reverse your items now in a later uh, live stream I'll go into a little bit more detail about each one but I just wanted to shoot a few more out um, hashtag be your dream hashtag quit stinking thinking hashtag forget talent schedule hashtag flush talent Schedulize. Hashtag save yourself first. Hashtag be a beast. Hashtag do beast things. Hashtag start small. Scale. Hashtag quit punking out. Hashtag quit giving up. So this will be the part one of my live stream. I didn't want to overwhelm people, but uh the next one will go into laser focus and fighting your fears. But this has been Grandmaster Griffin of Griffin Martial Arts. Burn your boats. Let go of them. Go ashore full speed ahead. You have emotional boats. You have physical boats. You have mental boats. So we all have boats that we need to burn and move on to the next level. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, you can reach me at... Uh, mastergriffin.club or m-a-s-t-r-g-r-i-f-y at yahoo.com. Talk to you guys soon. We out.